hello ladies and gentlemen welcome once more to the channel another quick video here to talk about the latest uh, update from dji for the mavic air 2 so uh, dji has done the third firmware update for Please the mavic air the 2. Uh, the first thing i noticed was when i uh, was prompted to do the update it asked me if I wanted to turn on AirSense. Of course, AirSense is ADSB, which detects manned aircraft flying within your airspace. So I turned that on, and uh, that's a great addition. It's a good addition. In uh, previous versions of this firmware, you would have to go into the settings and manually turn on AirSense. So it's good that right now uh, you get prompted up front to turn on AirSense. It's one of the big selling points for the Mavic Air 2. So uh, with that out of the way, uh, this current update is about 174.2 megabytes. Uh, make sure you have at least 50% charge on your phone and on, on your phone and your remote controller and also on their drone and then you can proceed with downloading that will vary depending on your internet speed uh, the speed of your internet connection so like i said this is the third uh, update for the firmware coming from dji the very first one was in april on april 28th 2020 and then the second one was on the 9th of may 2020 and this latest update firmware update just came out on the 15th of uh, june 2020 so i am quite late <laughs> in updating my drone the aircraft firmware and the remote controller firmware Perform should be the same check before you fly it would be uh, ending in 250 for both of them and once uh, everything is downloaded, it takes you... Uh, remember, your aircraft might be st start a, a couple of times. Uh, so make sure your gimbal is not being obstructed by anything, by the holder or anything. And also your remote controller is fully is turned on. So it goes through those uh, prompts asking you to go through the tutorial. I had been through this a couple of times, so we'll just gloss over it real quick. It does a safety check and now it says, it will say it's, it's ready to, to go fly. So if you look at the top right of your screen, you have the three dots, you press on there and it takes you to the settings menu. And here I'm just going through to see if anything new popped up. I changed the settings to Imperial. Metric would be most of the rest of the world. Europe. Canada, I believe. And the United States would be Imperial. And I also uh, enabled the upward gimbal movement rotation. So I will skip the tutorial. I wasn't planning on flying the drone, so. Frequency, I put it on dual band. That way it switches uh, to get the band that has the best reception. And while uh, I'm going through this menu options, I will just list some of the improvements with this firmware update uh, what actually changed so according to the release notes which i'll put down in the in the description there has been a switch added to automatically detect subjects in focus track and optimize the overall performance of focus track there is also the added ability to track all subjects by dragging a box around it when free hyperlapse when using free hyperlapse mode 
Uh, there's the added ability to store 8K hyperlapse in raw format uh, while using playback to view 8K hyperlapse and for more media players to play the 8K hyperlapse footage. There's added prompts in DJI Fly when GPS experiences interference. And then there's an increased maximum flight speed to 19 meters per second when using spotlight in spot mode and the added support for spotlight at night. There's also optimized uh, smart return to home and optimized performance when using wave gesture to trigger active track and quick shots. There's reduced noise when recording HDR videos at night. So those are the main things uh, that have changed. I will put them in the description so you can take a closer look when you at your own pace. So like I said, uh, the lights on your drone might change, might act funny. You here you see the drone restarting and you would have the gimbal, you know, recalibrate itself. So make sure they are free of all obstacles and objects that may interfere with their movement. And I can't wait to take the drone out to fly and see what kind of difference these uh, changes make. I believe it will all be for the better. So thanks for watching the video, it was just a quick uh, update to show that uh, yeah we have a new firmware and you can download it from DJI and it will bring some improvements to your Mavic Air 2. See you guys on the next one.